I want to get into a few like dating 101 tips. You know, all we could we could learn a thing or two. Tracy, who's a better wingman for you if you're going out, Josh Flagg or Josh Altman, and why? I think, I think Altman. Oh really? Why? I was gonna Altman's guess. Got, Altman's got swag, and Flag is a little uh, more like you know. Flag's got no swag. <laughs> Not the same kind of swag, if yeah, you know what I mean. A different, a different kind of swag. Uh, you know, Gabby, as Andy mentioned, used astrology religiously. Outside of the fact that they might be a cancer, literally and figuratively, are there any signs that you want to stay away from? Like, are like, oh, Scorpios? No. No, I love a Scorpio. Oh, we love a Scorpio. Best way. What do we think about Gemini's? Because Andy and I are both Gemini's, and I just got to know. Well. Oh my God, yeah. look at the stink face you gave me when you said Every Gemini. Every time, they hate a Gemini. I no, I actually love a Gemini. Sam is a triple Gemini. I don't know where she is. She might be here somewhere. She And she's one of my closest friends at this point. But um, men-wise, I'm staying away from Aquarius and hey. Pisces. No, I'm, it's not for me. We stay away. No. All right, generic question for all of you. Andy, I'm going to start with you. You walk into someone's apartment on a first, second date. You don't really know them that well. Apartment? Well, I'm, 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 I'm going Brin level. I'm going Brin level. I am too old for a goddamn apartment. All right, I'm from New York City. So if it was New York City? Right. Uh, that's a different apartment. Okay. What's the first thing you see? Red flag, you're walking out. They have one pillow. One pillow? I'm going to say a big black leather couch. Oh. Well, a casting couch? I'm going to say couch. dirty bathroom sink. You know? Oh, what I'm like yeah. Dirty, and like, men are the worst with it, Jordan. You know what I mean? This is hard. I don't like shoes on in the house. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. They yeah. keep their shoes Fair. on. I don't trust them. Yeah. For me, it's yeah. all about the bed. So it's got to be like sheet, blanket, sheet. It's, 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 it, that's where we spend most of the our setup. time. The a good bed bedding. Has, I feel a like black leather couch for stars. That's point. hard for a man. That's, I, I'm sorry, but I have a flat Tracy, sheet too. In real estate, if you see a big black leather couch, are you worried? Are you giving them advice to get I'm rid of it? I'm just staging it. Oh, you're staging okay. yeah. <laughs> She knows. Bryn, are there any red flags for you? <laughs> Everything's a green flag. Yeah. No, um, I think similar, but, but headboard. If there's no headboard, it's like, what am I going to hold on to? Oh, yeah, it's just like I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to grab on to. Yeah. Wow. Well, Jordan, going into Summer House Martha's Vineyard, now Winter House, you were celibate. I use yeah. that a little bit in air quotes sometimes because you weren't obvious about it on Winter House. You were like, I'm still kind of celibate. How has celibacy changed your perspective on dating? Has it cleared your... Thoughts. And how does that work in the winter house? Yes. I mean, it worked well because I dodged everyone. Right. You um, dodged left and mm, right in that worked. house. Yes. However, yes. you know, now it's not so much a choice. I just haven't found someone to partake in those festivities with. Okay. Um, so I'm celibate not by choice. Previously, it was by choice. Um, and so my standards have changed a lot. My patience has changed a lot. And you just have to be worth my time. Andy, how has celibacy changed you? <laughs> <laughs> Walk. When? <laughs> when? He's like from 12 to 2. Well, I it's was going to really say, like, you know, no. up until I was like 18. <laughs> right. Exactly. Um, all right, Andy, I know you wanted to set Bryn up with Shep, but you kind of were hawking Captain Jason recently. Would you want, who would you set up Captain Jason up with on this panel if you could? Definitely Erica? Yeah. I just met him in the, um, like, I don't know, service hall on the way here. <laughs> and? He's hot. He's hot. No, he's a hot man. He's a hot man. He's a the hot man. A he's a hot man. And you know what else? What? The man. Is he good? Yeah. That's nice. Yes. All right, I'm That's switching nice. from red flags to green flags. You see someone on a date and they have, they need to have good teeth, good eyes, good hair, good wallet. What is the top trait you look for in a date, Andy? Top trait I look for in a date. I mean, just someone who's kind of strong and. Uh, uh, just um, driven and in control and... Has their shit together. Yes. Has their shit together. Erica? Independent. Got to be smart. I love an intelligent man. Yeah. I, I, I want to have a good conversation. I want to learn something, you know, or just be, you know, yeah. stimulated in that way. Gabby? Um, Anderson Cooper? I would say, yeah, good conversation. I don't like to, like carry the burden of like having to talk to someone all of the time and then be the entertainment for them and like be like a dancing monkey. I have to have someone be like contributing in some kind of way, but also very hot. Well, I mean, that's like, okay, yeah. Like we all want good teeth. We all want, we all want to be really hot. Um, Bryn, how, 
How is the last relationship, like what did you learn from your last relationship that you want to bring into your next relationship? You've been engaged a few times. Just a couple. And they've always been your ex-boyfriends when you've been engaged with them. I know, right? Sorry so. about them. Um, what am I looking to bring? I don't know. I, I feel like what, ugh, I don't know, but what I was gonna say on the first date is I like a big, fat, thick wallet. Um, Amen. I was in a big, fat, thick. Uh, let me think. I have no idea. I, I just think of it, you know what? Each year that I get older, I get, I wouldn't say smarter, I get less dumb. So I think being less dumb is a good thing, you know? And just, yeah, patience is definitely getting good life thinner lessons. and standards continue to get higher. So, Tracy, do you believe in love at first sight? 100%. You do? Have you ever fallen in love with someone? First sight. I definitely have a problem with the visual, which tends to get in the way of me having long lasting relationships. My last boyfriend was very nice to look at, but maybe not for the long haul. Go team. And how long did you, uh, are you wind up being together? Yeah. Three and a half years. Three and a half. Oh my You're God. You're single now. I'm single now. Oh. Anyone you have your eye yeah, on. Yeah, let's talk about that. Well, I was thinking this captain who everyone keeps talking yeah. about. Andy? I mean, this guy. I mean, he's this guy, this guy dick. really. No, this guy I is mean, pick. He, li he literally has know. pick of the Bravo litter, if that's what yeah, he wanted. Really. Yeah. Wait, they is he on the boat, boat, though? Does he own the boat, or no? Yeah. No, no, no. He he doesn't own a yacht. Yes, own is the captain. The captain of the yacht, Brandon. Maybe he can't get you on the yacht. That is a big difference. Yes. 